Hi, I'm here to demo the MHL to HDMI capability of my phone and how I utilize it to replace my desktop. Uh, this type of connection is also available on a wide selection of phones and makes. Uh, MHL stands for Mobile High Def Link and uh, it's an industry standard uh, set by a consortium of uh, several companies like uh, Samsung, Sony, Toshiba, Nokia and others. Uh, so, uh, it, this feature is available to a wide range of models and uh, makes. Uh, today I'll be demonstrating uh, on my phone and um, if you want this capability just make sure that MHL is on uh, your phone's specs. So let's start with the phone itself. Um, I uh, personally use a Sony Xperia TX. Uh, this model was introduced around August 2012 as their flagship model. Uh, since then, a lot of other phones have come out, and this is kind of a relatively mid-range model now. Um, I got this for about $220 on eBay. Um, you can find a uh, full retail price about uh, $300 unlocked. Uh, so this desktop uh, replacement solution is actually not very expensive. Uh, so on the phone itself, uh, the micro USB port, uh, that's where the MHL connection takes place. Uh, from here, uh, the video and the um, audio will come out into the um, HDMI um, uh, adapter. So the next thing is the MHL to HDMI adapter. I got this on eBay for about $12, $15. Uh, you'll need to get one that's compatible with your phone, making sure that uh, you go, uh, when you buy it, um, double check to make sure it uh, works with your make and model. So here we have is that this port is the micro USB. Uh, this goes into your phone and then on the side we have a port here for the power and then uh, this port is the uh, normal HDMI port that goes to your TV. So um, let's uh, test it out. I'm gonna start connecting everything. Okay, up. So I bought uh, a stand for about four dollars um, that way you can just keep your phone on um, landscape mode. So I'm going to connect the port. This is my power source from the phone adapter um, charger. And then this is the HDMI port that goes to the or, or cable from the TV. And then this goes into my phone. Make sure this is right. Okay. And then I just put it on the stand. And uh, well, my phone is password protected, so I'm going to go ahead and cover. Get in on it. Let me make sure I got it. Oops. I'll cover my uh, password. Oh, good. Okay. So once the cable is connected to the TV, um, it auto detects and launches into landscape mode. As you can see, this is the telephone UI with uh, all of my icons on here. Um, first thing I wanted to show you is that I bought a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. Um, I got this set for about 20 bucks, and you can actually get it for about 20 to 40 dollars nowadays. Uh, the cool thing about this is this is an Android layout phone. I mean, a uh, keyboard, so you can actually have the return key, the home key and the menu key all set here as shortcuts. So anyway, I paired it with my phone. Um, the actually cool thing about Android is that when you pair um, a mouse like Bluetooth to it, a uh, cursor shows up so that you can actually click around the icons uh, as if you were touching on the screen. So, um, for example, I, I use this as my desktop scenario here or my desktop replacement. I can check my emails. Uh, you can check your Gmail or Yahoo, uh, whichever. Um, I also use my browser. This is Chrome uh, built in on the phone. Uh, I think you can choose your own browser. So um, these bookmarks actually work from my desktop. Uh, I synced up my Chrome with my mobile and uh, they both work. So I can go to uh, the sites and browse. Now this is all done in mobile mode, so I can see all of this um, in big font, actually, which I really like because I, 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 you know, I have trouble reading small fonts. So um, 
from here, I just browse regularly on all, all the sites that I like. Um, I've done also um, able to use the mobile versions of uh, video like YouTube. So things like um, Grumpy Cat, you know, if you can, you can actually search for Grumpy Cat or whatever videos you'd like. So, um, in addition to YouTube, of course, I have Netflix on my phone, and you can actually see a real movie on this, um, and I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, the, the cool thing about the UI is that uh, for those apps that do not support a native landscape mode, like the Netflix here, it automatically uh, switches to portrait mode as it needs to. Uh, so when you put on a movie, uh, it'll switch back to landscape mode, of course, and um, it will launch. This is all in my head. And here you are, waving a gun at me, like your partner. Do you realize how seriously disturbed that man is? How dark and lonely. What he's capable of? Hold her. Not your car keys. <laughs> So um, in addition to you know movies, videos, I can actually um, do my Facebook and other social activities like uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. So as you can see, um, I can comment, I can like, and also LinkedIn, uh, Twitter works here as well. The next thing I want to show you is how I manage files on my phone. I downloaded some a um, file explorer app. Uh, there are many to choose from. Uh, the one I have, um, it's your typical file explorer, uh, allows you to create folders, uh, rename files, move files, delete files. Uh, the cool thing about this explorer is uh, it could actually launch files as well when you click on them. Uh, just like your Windows Explorer, this, this explorer just allows you to associate programs with files and uh, launch like videos. Another thing I wanted to show you is that uh, this particular file explorer um, also integrates access to network drives. So uh, notice the SMB here. I have a network drive uh, that I use to share files like uh, videos, photos, and uh, music. So um, this one is just accessing my uh, network drive right now. And I can actually play files directly off of the network, um, like my video here. Uh, in addition, this particular uh, explorer um, has integration with my cloud drives. So um, by uh, typing in my cloud drive logins, like Google Drive or Box, I'm able to access the cloud. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, the the uh, phone here, I can actually manage my file as if I have like a Windows Explorer. The next thing I wanted to show you is some of the productivity that I do um, on here. Just a little bit, you know, if you need to do something very quick. Um, I've got Google Drive. So here, of course, you can uh, create uh, your document, a spreadsheet. Uh, what I'm going to do is just show you how to create a document. And using my keyboard and mouse, you can actually do this like uh, as if you're on a desktop.
Yeah, and you can save it, download it, and uh, share it. Now, one more cool thing about this is uh, you can print it. Um, I've installed Google Cloud Print on my uh, phone here, and I've shared the printer that I have with my Windows desktop. Uh, I have a Windows desktop server that runs, uh, serving as my file uh, shares, um, and uh, I do that at home, and there's a, a server in my office, and from there I, I shared the printer, and I can use Google Cloud Print to print from my phone. So let's select the printer right now on the document that I just created. Uh, let's use a monochrome to save some ink. And I push print. And it'll upload the file, and soon it'll be printing out on the printer here. So there you go. That's the document I just typed up. Um, it's really cool that uh, they've solved this problem. I can actually print from pretty much any of the Android devices or, uh, of course, this phone here. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is other activities that I do, um, including, um, you know, from time to time, maybe a, a, a mobile desktop will not do. I actually can do other things like. Um, remote desktop. Now you can download your apps. To, uh, there's many apps that do this. So from here, I'm actually on my phone, but I'm using remote desktop to my Windows uh, server that I've uh, talked uh, that I told you about earlier. So I have all at my disposal all of the Windows capabilities. So you know I can do things like. Notepad, and so forth. Um, so moving along, I will go ahead and continue on the next thing. Um, you know, once I've done all my productivity, I can go on to some entertainment. Um, so here, I can play some music. I showed you videos earlier. Uh, there's a Walkman app here um, in your phone that you buy. Maybe there's also a um, you can download one or built-in. Uh, music player, but it's really cool because I've hooked up my stereo here and I can just go ahead and start playing. And, you know, just go chill and hang out. Uh, of course, you know, since it's your phone, you'll playlist and you don't even have to uh, worry about it. Other areas that I, I wanted to show you today is also how I play games. Um, I can play uh, some you know, nifty games. I have here a Nintendo NES system emulator uh, that I downloaded. Um, it's an app. Uh, you can do interesting things with it, um, including keyboard activity with it. So now that I have keyboard hooked up to it, I can actually play. So these are my classic 8-bit games that uh, are really cool for uh, those of you that remember this. Those of you that are not into really shoot 'em up games, there are other you know games out there that I kind of play with this. Now, there's some more modern games I play, too, on here. Um, 
So I have things like uh, Angry Birds, and I'll show you how Angry Birds looks on the giant screen here. Using the mouse, I can just pull the bird and knock over the pig. There you go. And let me see here. I think I can go home and leave the game. Uh, there are other modern games I, I also play. I actually wanted to show you one final one. Uh, this is a role-playing game I bought, uh, just to show you some of the graphics that are um, possible with some of the more modern phones that we have. Uh, this is a game called Bard's Tale. It's a role-playing game. So you can use your mouse, just like tapping on the screen to play the game. Is a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapon. It had come to this at last. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his past. Oh, we'll skip the intro we'll video. Of that. <laughs> a rat! A rat! You drunken lot! Get off your backsides and kill it! I'll save you, fair damsel. <laughs> So I can control the, the player um, using the mouse, move him around. Uh, the graphics are pretty smooth. Um, it's pretty detailed. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised by this, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Heard it already. So you know, as you can see, there's hardly any lag. Um, some of the uh, the graphics run by very smooth. So I just wanted to show you that, uh, yeah, I can actually play real games on this phone. So let's uh, exit out of this. And uh, there you have it. So um, you can do this on, on many, many of the more modern phones. Uh, in fact, you don't even have to do this on uh, a phone. Uh, if you buy a 7-inch tablet, uh, you can actually um, buy those that have capability for MHL and uh, as long as you get a, a compatible adapter, you'll be fine. And um, so, you know, this is a great uh, option for replacing your desktop. Uh, in fact, I haven't used my personal laptop in about um, ooh, about two weeks or so already. So, um, uh, that, that's uh, my, uh, my demo and uh, I want to appreciate everybody for watching. Thanks.